Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you did not already know, I did make it to the top 20 of the Next Face Awards. So we're back at it again with the voting and everything. Um, so the theme was Animal Kingdom, so I did this character from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the guy from the Flying, he's the crew of the Flying Dutchman. Um, he's like half pufferfish, half dead guy that, you know, died in the ocean. So how voting works is from June 16th to June 23rd, you can vote um, starting at 12 p.m. on the 16th. This would be the West Coast time. You can vote three times per day per email, and you can vote at nixfaceawards.com. I'll have you linked down below, um, so you can just go ahead and click on it, and it'll take you straight to my video. Um, so yeah, that's everything you need to know. Let's just get right into the tutorial. Alright, so I'm starting with a face cast of my face. This is going to be the part where I'm creating the pufferfish side of my face. I'm taking this um, stuff called Model Magic, and I'm creating the side of my face with the pufferfish, obviously. I'm just kind of building up a circle, just kind of messing with the shape. As you can see on the side, there's a little picture of the guy. Um, so I just created a big old shape like that. <laughs> Um, and then there's also a little bit above his um, eye that I created in the nose. I wanted to like, look a little bit distorted. Um, and then I didn't have, I don't know what to do for the eye since it was so big and so like out there. So what I did was I just created my own eye. Um, I just made a circle, chopped it in half, put it in the socket, and then put some little strings around it. Um, and I'm kind of just def like refining the shape and everything. And then with a mixture of flour and latex, I'm just putting that over all everything so that it's nice and smooth. And it will also help give the texture of the puffer fish. So for the spikes, I just used a, b a little bit of the Model Magic and then rolled it till it was like super sharp. Let it dry a bit, harden, and put those on. I'm taking the latex and the cotton, I'm um, putting that on the base of that so it looks like it's coming out of the skin. So it's not such an abrupt um, transition, I guess, from the puffer fish to the spike. And once all that was finished, I just took some trans translucent powder. This is the HD powder um, by NYX, and I'm just powdering everything so it's not sticky anymore because latex is very sticky. And then I'm taking this jumbo eye pencil, and this is in black bean. And I'm going to use this to create the pupil of the eye. So yeah, I am going to create the eye since I couldn't find contacts or anything that would like really mimic it. Um, so I'm just going to draw a circle. And I'm going to use the eyeliner brush, I'm going to use this to really clean up the edges um, and make them nice and sharp. And then taking this eyeshadow stick by, obviously by NYX, <laughs> this is their full throttle stick. And I'm going to use this as a base um, to the eye as a color. I'm taking a green one as well. And I'm going to put that um, over the yellow. It's going to kind of mix and make a cool little custom color. And I'm just going to take an angle brush and kind of refine that a bit. And then taking this eyeliner, this is a faux white liner. It's really um, like pastel and it has like a yellow undertone to it. I'm going to put that in little um, kind of like lines on the eye. It's going to add a highlight to the eye. And then taking some of that black on the um, eyeliner, I'm going to use little black marks to create some texture. It's going to add some depth to the look. And then grabbing that green um, jumbo pencil, I'm taking that on an angled brush. I'm going to use that to create a little ring around the edge of the eye. And then with a white eyeliner, I'm going to put that right on the eye as like a highlight. And then I'm going to grab the NYX Total Control Foundation. Um, I think this is in shade 03. It's a pretty light foundation with like a yellow undertone because the fish is a little bit yellow, but it's also very light. So I'm using that to basically paint the puffer fish and put on a base color. Um, and give it some, you know, realistic color so it's not like an ugly yellow like the latex. And the pufferfish had little dots on it, um, so I'm taking a stippling brush, uh, or dual pepper brush, and I'm taking a darker foundation shade that's a little bit warmer. Um, I'm going to put that all over the pufferfish, I'm going to stipple that on so it looks like there's texture to it, and it'll give it a lot of depth and like grittiness, if you know what I mean. I went in with a, a lot darker shade, um, I just did that more give it more shadows, give it more depth, made it a little bit more interesting to the eye. And then also using that super dark shade, I also contoured around the eye a bit, give it a little more, you know, dimension, depth. Um, put it on the ends of the spikes, and then right here I'm taking a red cream paint, and I'm just taking a pencil brush, and just putting it at the base of the spikes, because that's just how the character had and looked. Um, I think I wanted it to look a little bit poisonous. 
And then right here, I have basically the same thing as the like the face of the pufferfish. Um, this is just what the character had, so I put this on my shoulder, coming out of my shirt as if it like you know was part of me, and it busted through my shirt. Um, so I'm just taking cotton and latex, and I'm going to um, first I glued it down with to my skin with latex. I'm gonna take cotton and put that on to kind of blend it into my skin. First, I lay down a little bit of latex. Um, and then the cotton I kind of spread out and this will help the latex or the cotton stick to the latex so you can put latex over the cotton and then you really want to drench it so that it's very um, malleable I guess and very like soaked and then right here I am just putting barnacles on my face these I created by putting little circles like making little circles and then just poking them in the middle gluing them onto this little prosthetic um, but yeah just doing the same thing I did on the shoulder putting on latex cotton and then more latex smoothing it out and you have a nice transition and then I just glued the prosthetic on my face with latex um, I put a lot on so it would say it was a little bit heavy uh, but also putting the latex and cotton around it also makes it a little more secure and then taking another shade of total control this is a little bit lighter I think this is like number one almost um, I mixed in a little bit of pink um, cream paint to get a little bit more of a pink feel. I didn't want it so warm. Um, so then I just mixed those together, apply that onto my face. Um, on this side with the barnacles because this is more the human side. Um, and then I'm going to kind of blend those together. And then taking this foundation, it's a lot darker. This is number 23 as you can see. Um, this is I'm going to use for the shadows and everything to give it more dimension, obviously shadows so what i'm doing is creating a little bit of a shadow right here underneath and around that prosthetic on my cheekbone and then with a gill fiber brush i'm just going to dip it into that foundation um put this randomly off my face give it more like scratch marks you know what i'm feeling give it more texture make it look dirty and grungy that's what i'm going for that's what i want and then I'm taking that on a little smaller um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put that around my eyes. Make it look a lot more deep set even though I don't have a prosthetic above my eye. I'm just going to put it all around there make it look like it's sunk in a little bit more. Alright guys, so here is the finished look. A lot of this was actually prep work. And this was actually the biggest prosthetic and the most prosthetics I have ever made. So I'm pretty soaked, stoked about how it turned out. Also did with fingers, but I'm not going to tutorial on that because I did not do a very good job at all <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to vote three times per day um on the dates that i said i'll have a link down below so you guys can just go ahead and click the link um and it'll take you straight to my video so you guys can vote for me um this is actually what determines if i made it into the top 12 of the face awards all right guys thanks so much for watching and tuning in and voting i hope to see you in the top 12 Alrighty, bye